Gemini, your weekly toxic love reading begins with lust. Wow. Insecure. Pain. Again. Wow. And stagnant. So three of these cards showed up earlier for another reading. Lust so far has shown up for three for three. So that's quite amazing. Um, lust for you, Gemini, and insecurity. Pain and stagnation for your person. So let's get in to... Uh, your center energy, right? We have three of cups. Wow. And three of wands waiting for more information. All right. For you, seven of cups, nine of swords, three of swords. Damn. Eight of swords, page of cups, and the knight of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the tower. All right. So Something comes in, right, that is, like, shocking to both of you. Something comes in that really shocks this relationship. It causes you to both need much more information than you have here. All right. Um, wow. Pain and stagnation for your person. Feels to me. Okay, right away, let's get right into your center energy. Feels to me like Gemini. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, socializing, hanging out, going out, maybe um, entertaining other people, right? There's lust on the board. So there's some lust here. There's some activity here and it's amongst friends. So it almost feels like, it almost feels like there's a betrayal here. You definitely have some betrayal here because you have nine of swords energy. Is there something that went on with some friends, you know, that shouldn't have gone on? Um, a feeling of insecurity over here on your end. Uh, seven of cups, nine of swords. You definitely feel guilty about something, Gemini. Okay. Oops. That's my kitty. Sorry. Come on. You have to come down. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, you guys definitely, you feel guilty about something, um, something to do with the betrayal, you know, sleepless nights. Um, you may be afraid that somebody's going to find out about it. You have three of wands covering. So there's more information that comes in, right? Um, Gemini, what did you do? You know, did you, you know, you did something. You did something. Mm-hmm. Yep. You did something and it feels strongly like you did it with somebody who's a mutual friend. Wow. Eight of cups. You had to walk away. Damn. Six of wands energy coming off as a shadow energy here. Almost feels as though, listen, you got caught up with, I think somebody may have used you. There's feelings here of being used possibly. Page of Wands, wow, and a Fool. Yeah, you were you a fool? Almost feels, this feels like some real toxic energy in as much as you got played. Somebody played you, right? And it ended up that this person you have this connection with here, they're the ones who are getting hurt by it. It almost feels like somebody who came, somebody is involved here who's a mutual friend they may have they may have wanted to stab your person in the back or hurt your person in some kind of way or mess up this connection and you allowed them to they sold you some some they sold you some stuff here that you bought that you bought their line and now it's coming out that i think that they used you you know they really used you full energy like you 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 fell for it and now you're kind of like very upset very insecure. Um, I'm not sure that your person knows about it yet. Yeah. So right now you're trying to hide it, right? Right now you're not, you really, I, I think for some of you, if you're resonating with this Gemini, you're in a space where uh, you're not sure if your person here knows exactly what's going on yet. You're certainly trying to cut, you know, you're trying to throw on the love and throw on all the, all the good stuff and, you know, you're putting a lot of effort into, um, I don't know, not even making amends because you don't want them to find out, but you're schmoozing them, right? You're treating them really nice. Like you're, you're insecure. So you're doing all of the things that, you know, you hope that will save this Knight of cups comes in Knight of cups twice. Yeah. They lose it. They lose it. I think they find out because this is the tower moment, Gemini, and they lose it. Knights can be very extreme. And they lose it in love or hermit. A lot of fighting goes on and they ultimately step off. A lot of fighting. Five of swords, five of wands, and a death. Damn. Gemini, I think you lose this. Some of you, you lose this relationship as a result. I'm sorry to say. 
because this person, Eight of Swords, they, they come in with Eight of Swords energy. They are very sort of upset and stuck and they feel like, like, damn, what, what happened here? This happened. They, they definitely react the way they're supposed to react. Again, it feels like somebody has come in from the outside to interfere in this relationship and to cause all of this chaos. And it's absolutely somebody you consider a friend and all of this just went sideways. Um, they lose it. Knight of Cups comes in twice. So they are, you know, between the pain that they're feeling and they feel like such a victim here, they also lash out. Um, you know, dark side of Knight of Cups is lashing out, you know, you know, uh, jealous fits, anger, retribution, wanting to go after them. Ultimately, what ends up happening is, uh, <sighs> Ultimately, they feel very, very manipulated. They feel played, your person, and there's a lot of fighting. They step off, they leave. Hermit energy. There's a, you know, and then followed by a death card, which I'm going to pull out, but they absolutely leave and walk away. They decide to have nothing to do with you or the friend. Like the whole shebang falls apart. You know, fighting, arguing, five of swords. They decide that that five of swords is also giving up. They decide, you know, you know what? I'm defeated. I don't want to have anything to do with you, Gemini. I don't want to have anything to do with you, the other person that was part of this sort of love triangle, five of wands and death, like the competitiveness as well. They, it's just, it's over. This relationship, I'm sorry to say, Gemini is over as far as, some of you are concerned. It's going to be very, you know, I don't see. Well, let it, let me put it to you like this. It's over the way it is now, right? Like who's to say you may develop a different kind of relationship. You guys may come out of this and still be together or still develop something. But there's a fundamental shift that has happened here as a result of the betrayal. Three of Swords is such a bad betrayal. Um, three of wands covers you here. So yeah, this is also all about the grapevine information coming in, you know, um, there's a lot of secrecy here. I feel, I feel an immense amount of secrecy, very toxic. Listen, whatever this person, whoever this person is who plays you, they were very, very toxic. And I think you feel awful about it. They leave by the way. Not only do they play you, but they, they lead, they play you, they step right off and they have a victory. They feel really good about themselves. Whoever this was who sold you this pie in the sky, they may have told you some stuff. They may have told you lies about this person. Like they really ran a number on you and completely interfered. And as soon as you kind of like you guys did whatever you, you committed the deed. And let me be clear. This is about sex with somebody else you shouldn't have had sex with. So let me not beat around the bush here, right? And as soon as this happened, they leave. They're like, ha, huh, I got it. I hit it. I won. They leave. They step off. And you feel utterly like, oh, what have I done? Like you, not only do you realize that you've been betrayed by this person, but you realize that you've now betrayed this, this person that you're with. You are very anxious, you're very nervous, and you're trying your best to save it, but I don't see it happening here. I don't see much getting saved. Let's pull out the final outcome cards here and see what may be possible, all right? Sometimes things do turn around in these last three cards, you know, but ultimately death comes in. So there is a death here in terms of disconnection in some way. Tower again, damn. Shadow side, the devil, and page of swords, yeah. So again, awakening up to this dark energy that was here. Some of you, mm, yeah, some of you really got pulled, got pulled away by somebody who was really working from a dark place. If you may have had some addiction issues that they played on to get you to fall, there's really some diabolical sort of uh, treachery here, but it happened. Tower Mormon comes in twice. All right, Gemini, so you guys, it's, you know, this, there's no getting around this, right? There's no getting around, like, the fallout of this event. Page of Swords comes in because um, your person is really, le has learned a big lesson, and I, and again, the outcome is a lesson for them. I don't think there is really much hope for this connection. Peacock and a dolphin. Well, you have two animal spirits that give you a little bit of hope. Peacock is love. 
uh, is beauty and love in beauty, seeing the beauty in everything through love. It's air energy. Um, yes, and the dolphin, of course, is water energy, the ultimate animal spirit for healing. But again, healing comes in. Healing will come in here. There is an energy of that, but I don't think that this relationship is salvageable. There's definitely a, uh, well, I don't believe that your person is willing now to have anything to do with any of you, period. Rough, 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 rough. A big lesson here, a big, big lesson and a lot of healing to do, but I guess the healing is part of the lesson because the worst of the situation is how badly played you were here. And why were you played? Because they were able to, um, they were able to manipulate your desires. And these were desires they manipulated were ridiculous and unrealistic anyway, Gemini. So this is a huge lesson for you and for you in so many ways. This is a lesson for your person. And ultimately this was a lesson, um, in some of the friendships that you both have and how quickly somebody can really turn into a diabolical sort of enemy. Somebody, you know, there are people like that out there who are ruthless, very ruthless, and they have no problem de destroying your relationships when, if they see, especially if this was a happy relationship, which probably it was up until now, because I do believe, I don't even feel any toxicity between you and them, but this event that you allowed happen here is extremely toxic. All right, Gemini, Gemini cross watchers. This was a heavy one. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like subscribe, do all that good stuff that really helps my channel out and helps me continue to give you these readings and this content. But for right now, Gemini, I'm just going to wish you guys all love, life, and happiness. And I hope to see you guys here on my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot, next week for your weekly Toxic Love Outlook. Bye-bye now.